Welcome to Voice of the Covenant Bible Study. I love the time that we have together to study the Word. You know, there's nothing like the Word of God. It's so transforming and so liberating. We're going to learn even more about that today in our study again. Let's open in prayer. Father, I thank you for the Word that you've given to us and let your Word brings freedom into our life. Lord, help us to see exactly what we need to learn today. We ask your presence with us as we study all from people studying together from all over the world. Your blessing, Lord, we expect it and we believe for it in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, all this year we've been focusing on six words in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2, which is, what shall I do for thee? It's our theme that the Lord gave us for 2021. And in every Bible study, we've been encouraging you to realize that God is asking you that same question today. What shall I do for thee? We've learned so much about being bold to ask God for the things that we need in life. He wants you to open up your heart and really start walking like his free child who has no problem communicating your needs, desires, and wants to him. And that's why this month's Bible study is titled Freedom in Christ. And today we're going to turn again to John chapter 8. It's verse 32. It's our foundation scripture for this month. You know, salvation is free, but it definitely didn't come cheap. It cost Jesus Christ his life. He won the battle for our soul by giving himself for us and for all of humanity. You know, it's so easy to receive salvation because Jesus already paid the ultimate price for it. So if we receive salvation, why not go even further and walk in the freedom of our salvation? Why are so many believers content to remain bound when Jesus has set us free? We're not going to be bound anymore. We're going to be free in Jesus and you're going to be free today. Now let's read John chapter 8, verse 32, the King James Version of the Bible. It says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You know, all this month of July, we've been focusing on what God has already given to us, and that is freedom in Christ. Last week, we learned that truth in God's Word is the only way to experience freedom in Christ. And when Jesus makes us free, we are free indeed. Jesus is not just a truth or some truth, but he is the truth. You know, each week we just reinforce a lot of these same principles because I really wanted this to get deep into your heart. You know, we need to refuse to let the world dictate how we should think or be in bondage to anything that we've been made free from through the work of Christ. And we've learned so far that Bondage cramps spiritual aspirations. It limits our capacity to receive what God has already given to us. We've also seen that God's freedom is free and it is permanent. Now this week, we're gonna, you're going to see that you have been made free from the law of sin and death. You know, this world would like to tell you that you're a victim of all sorts of things. It will continually remind you of your shortcomings and always try to point your eyes to others or to compare yourself against them. You know, this world will try to beat you down with victimhood until you can do nothing but groupthink yourself into a state of misery. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that the devil wants to make you feel like you're nothing, that you're less than others in some way? You know, he wants to tell you that you're deficient in some way, but he's the one that's the liar and a thief. Remember, Jesus set you free. So don't let the devil keep your mind in bondage. Let the purity of the gospel push out the pollution of the world. You have a choice. You can choose to know the truth and be set free. Now let's turn to Romans chapter 8, verse 2 in a moment. We'll be studying a little. We'll go a little deeper this week. You know, we should be amazed by the many people that say they love God so much and yet they're sin so often. But the word tells us that you've been made free from sin. Now let's read Romans chapter 8, verse 2. In the King James Version of the Bible, it says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. You know, those two words have and free should help us to realize that we don't have a problem with sin. Sin has a problem with us. Now, some people may ask, how can you say that? Well, that brings us to the next point of this month's Bible study, and it is this. Christ Jesus is the only liberator of the human race. Think about that. 
Do you know that when Jesus shed his blood, it didn't just cover your sin, it washed it away. That means that there's no evidence against you anymore, nothing to feel guilty for or ashamed about anymore. You've been made free by Jesus the liberator. And it's only this sin-sick world or a mind that's not renewed with the word that will try to put the guilt and shame of the past back on you. Don't let this world fool you again. Satan cannot bring up your past against you because there is no court of appeals with God. Satan is the only one that's judged guilty, not you. So don't let an unrenewed mind work against what the blood of Jesus bought for you. Do not accept bondage of any kind. If you've done something that you wish you hadn't, all you need to do is repent. Let it go. Repent means turn around, go the other direction. Realize that walking around in bondage for something that Jesus' blood has already paid for isn't healthy, and it isn't right. You've been made free from the law of sin and death, and that is that. Now let's turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. We're going to look at verse 5 in a moment. To stay in bondage... Listen to this. To stay in bondage and not receive your forgiveness is a smack in the face of the one who died to free you and wash you white as snow. That is so powerful. You know, when your mind tries to go against the truth of that, do what the word says. Now let's see what it says right here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. It's wonderful wisdom for you today. It's very liberating. It'll help you to be free. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Think about that. That's a great thing to do. Christ's work is more powerful than anything you may be holding on to. So let it go. Take hold of your freedom in Christ and remind yourself that you are free. Now, what shall God do for you? There's no limits. Take the limits off and expect God to do great things in your life today. We're ready for our confessions. We're at the end of our study, and I hope you've learned some things. I hope you've been made free. Let's say these together, and I'll try to slow down because I know sometimes I rush through with them. They're so powerful. Number one, I let the purity of the gospel push out the pollution of the world. I don't have a problem with sin. Sin has a problem with me. Number two, Christ Jesus is the only liberator of the human race. I do not accept bondage of any kind, and I bring into captivity every thought through the obedience of Christ. You know, those truths are so powerful. I believe that they've, gone, they've been sown deep into your heart and that the Holy Spirit is helping you to understand exactly what they mean and how you can apply it in your personal life today. Let's close in prayer. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you that your word is setting us free, that your word is liberating. Lord, and I thank you that it's the truth that we know that sets us free. And Lord, I thank you that truth is growing. Truth is being, is being declared in the lives of all of those that are studying together with me today. Bless them today, no matter where they're at. Touch them, Lord. Let them know your presence is there with them and that you, they can ask anything of you because you're a loving and a faithful father. Lord, we pray this together in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Welcome and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss anything. Do you hear that clicking sound? That's you clicking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Yeah. Ding, ding, <laughs> ding. Do it today. Now. Bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.